Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Minerai Speech series. So I'm here to talk about this week's new releases in the shop. So this week we are releasing a new product. This is a new sticker kit that is coming to the shop and these are the journaling stickers. So if you watch my plan with me videos, you may have heard me talking about these journaling stickers and how they were actually the very first product that I had designed for the shop. However, I ended up releasing the vertical weekly kits because I thought that that would be something that you guys would be interested in. But I finally had the chance to revamp the journaling kits and these journaling kits are bigger kits. They are four pages. And the reason why I made them bigger is because I want you to be able to use them in your bullet journals or other notebooks like the Hobonichi Cousin. So for example, I do have um, some of my pages kind of pre-decorated here using some of the journaling stickers. So these are larger stickers that you can write inside of. So as you guys can see, I have been writing down a few of my upcoming events here using the stickers from the kit, but they're also really nice for just decorating in general as well. So you have a lot of the torn washi that has been really trendy at the moment. I also give you the full um, kind of straight washi as well, so you can kind of make it your own in any way that you like. So I'm gonna show you the format of the kit and also the designs that I have. So we have four new designs in watercolor artwork. I'm gonna get started with the first one here and it's called Kate Floral, which is what I just showed you in my planner right now. So again, these are made for bullet journals, but you can also use them in conjunction with your vertical weekly kits. I'm also thinking about making just one sheet of the journaling stickers so that you can use it um, to kind of go with your weeklies. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, but the four page kits are larger kits. They're larger stickers so that you can do some journaling or just decorate um, daily pages like the Hobonichi daily pages or the Stalogy daily pages. So this is the Kate floral kit. Once again, we do have a vertical weekly kit with the same artwork. So if you guys are interested in that, you can find it already up in the shop. But this is the first page of the journaling kit. You have some of that rip washi, which is really trendy right now. You have some watercolor swatches, and then you have some beautiful bouquets. I love this beautiful floral. I think it's so pretty. And then I love this girl here. She's one of the fashion girls also in the kit. And so I added her because she's reading, and I just love the colors of this kit. I just think it's so pretty. So that is the first page of Kate Floral. On the second page, we do have two um, different types of washi strips. So you have the floral one, and then you also have the gingham, which I think is really, really pretty. It pairs really nicely um, with the florals. I just love that design. You have a couple of floral drops that you can make weekend banners out of. I kind of did that here um, once again in my Hobonichi. Um, I cut it up in half and then I used another bouquet in the center and um, I just like to mark the weekends like that. I think that's a cool way to use these stickers but obviously you can use it any way that you want and then you have some different wreaths there which you are able to write inside. So similar thing with these archways, you can definitely write in them, which is what I like to do. So that is the second page. And then the third page has some of this tornawashi with the beautiful kind of like old age paper effect, which I love. Again, you have some more wreaths there, some watercolor swatches, some floral bouquets. You have this little Polaroid, again, something that you can write in. And then you have these smaller decorative um, layered pieces, which I think is fun to um, layer with. So I've been doing that. And then obviously you do get the Monday to Sunday in the beautiful script so that you can set up your weeklies if you wish. And then the very last page has a lot of um, larger stickers, so these ones do fit the weeklies of the Hobonichi Cousin. They kind of look like full boxes, but you do get that kind of decorative element with the cutout like this. So this is something that you can definitely write in if you want to. Um, and then you have some more floral bouquets, a larger layering box there. You have these circles, again, great for layering. 
um, and then you have this really large one not all of the kits have something this large in it but I just threw that in there because I thought it would be beautiful just to have the florals kind of framing that um, oval there and then of course you have more of that torn washi so this is the four page kit so it's a very large kit so if you are someone who likes to decorate your daily pages of your hobonichi with something like this then you definitely have enough for a full week. Um, I've actually been using this for a week and a half because it, there are so many stickers in this kit. So um, that is the basic format. Now obviously, depending on the artwork, the florals and the placement of everything will be a little bit different. So I'm gonna show you the other kits that I have coming out today. But this is the Kate Floral Kit, one of my favorites. So you can grab this in the shop now. The next kit that I have here is called Summer Picnic. And this is going to be the last kind of summery um, journaling kit that I'm gonna be releasing this year. Um, but I just love this artwork. Again, it's beautiful watercolor artwork. So you have some of that torn washi. This one's really pretty. So it kind of has that linen effect to it, which I think is perfect for this kit. You have the fashion girl and you have a lot of beautiful elements here with the florals, all the little fruits. You have a croissant there, it's so, so cute. You have a little book there as well. This is the second page. So you have, again, two sets of the washi. You have the floral washi, and then you also have the grid washi. You have this fashion flat lay and a couple of these bouquets. Um, you have a book there and then more of the archways, again, which you can write in. The next page has more of these archways. Again, you can use them in the weeklies of the Hobonichi. They will fit there. Um, they'll kind of act as a full box effect, but you can definitely write in them. This particular Polaroid is blank. So again, it's something that you can layer with, with another sticker or just right inside of. So I gave you a few different layering options. And then you obviously have some florals there. I love this kind of bag spill. I think it's so cute. And then here we have some more washi, another Polaroid, another of those layered boxes, swatches, and then you have some deco pieces. So some of these are a little bit larger so that you can layer with some of the other stickers that come in the kits, but I just love all these colors. I think it's so pretty. I'm thinking about using it as my monthly setup for August. I think it'll be really pretty. So that is Summer Picnic. The next one that I have here is another really pretty one and this one is called prosperity so we do have hobonichi kits that match this artwork so if you guys are interested in matching your weeklies to your dailies you can so again you have the ripped washi you have these larger decos and then you have some of these smaller ones as well so you have the figs um, the beautiful petunias and the leaves there with some watercolor swatches. Then you have this page here with the archways. I like this one because it has a little bow there, but you have the figs and the blueberries as well. And if you guys didn't know, um, the figs are a sign of prosperity and abundance. That's why I call this kit prosperity. You have the little Polaroid and a few layering pieces here. I love this um, kind of book stack here. It's so cute. And then you have your bottom washi. So again, it has the florals with the gingham. And then you have these, which you can layer on top of these archways if you want. And then you have some of these, which have the beautiful watercolor background. And I like to use these to mark down what I have going on that day. Really pretty. And then lastly, of course, you have the days of the week page here. And then you have some extra ripped washi and some more of the larger artwork. So that is Prosperity, it's a lighter kit. So I think it's great for August and September. And then lastly, I do have one that's perfect for fall and that is the Olivia Floral. I love this kit, I love this artwork. I just think it's so pretty. So you have the fashion girl there and I just love her outfit. Her bag is super cute and I love her beret. However, my favorite thing of this kit is definitely the florals. I just love the dark florals. I just think it's so, so pretty. So you have the larger bouquets and then some single flowers there. And then you have the ripped washi on this page. And then look at this bottom washi. So dark and pigmented. I just love all the colors. You have some floral trim there and then some larger wreaths, which again, you can write in. And then you have an archway there. And then here is your 
days of the week page. So you have again, more of that ripped washi, you have a Polaroid there, which you can layer with. And then you have some of these larger florals. Some of you guys may think that they're too big, but I like to cut these up and use them to layer with other stickers. So that's a great way to utilize the larger stickers. So yeah, definitely get creative with these stickers. There's so many beautiful ones that you can play with in your journals or in your spreads. And then the last page here, we do have the um, boxes. So you have the archways here. Again, you can write in these. You have the Polaroid, you have the ripped washi, you have some more bouquets and layering bits there. So once again, this one is called Olivia Floral. I love this kit. I just think it's so, so pretty. So those are the new journaling kits. I hope you guys enjoy the designs. I think they're all really, really pretty. And I think I'll probably be doing some Hobonichi plan with me videos, kind of showing you how I use these journaling kits in my daily pages. I will definitely be using these kits to also set up my B6 Stylogy. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, then definitely check out those future videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's new releases. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the shop. Bye guys.